every so often something comes out on the market where I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, damn, why didn't I think of it? We are looking at one of those products right now. So what we're looking at here is the jam handle. Now I found this company on Instagram and I was looking at it, I was wondering what the hell these even are. It's basically it's little plastic rings, they look like brass knuckles, they're not for fights, but they're actually for preserving your paint and in a very practical way. So one of the things I noticed lately is when I'm closing my truck or getting out of it, I'm basically grabbing it by the outside skin of the door and then pushing it shut. That's okay, but what happens is as your truck gets dirty and everything, you get salt and everything on there, you're basically just rubbing your fingers on the paint and scratching the paint. So the jam handles come in everything from two finger all the way up to the four finger, and then they come in a whole host of different colors. So mine are in black, they'll match the truck nicely, but they'll actually stick out too. I didn't want to get a color that would blend in here because the point of having these is so your passengers actually use the jam handles and they don't use the outside door. So if I get a white one, it's gonna blend in, they're not gonna use it. So where do these install? So let's take the four finger one. So I'm gonna use the four finger one in the back and there's a particular reason why I'm using this one in the back and not the three finger one. But what I'm playing with right now is should the jam handle go up here or down here? If it goes down on the lower portion of the door, I'll need to melt it a little bit and bend it so it contours to the door. But the reason I want these in the back and the bigger ones is because I have kids, you can see by the car seats, and they are constantly, they, they all want to shut the door. That's great, they want to shut the door. Everyone races to shut the door when they get out. However, they always grab it on the lower portion of the door and they're not as careful as I am when shutting the door and you know they're gonna scratch the paint. That said, that's where the jam handles come in here. So my guess is, I guess my oldest son, he could reach up here. So I may go ahead and put it up here. It looks nicer, it's up and out of the way. But as another alternative for the four finger one, uh, it could go down here or you could get a three finger one on the Rams and it'd fit perfect. So uh, once you decide on location for these bad boys, the next thing you wanna do is verify that that location works. So basically taking a piece of tape and mocking up that guy in where you want it. Don't mount it yet, but basically use a piece of painter's tape and then you wanna close the door and make sure that it clears the door. So it clears the gap and these do. I believe they're about a quarter inch thickness, so they're gonna clear that gap because there's plenty of play around the whole door itself. So once we figure out where we want this to be located, we're gonna go ahead and clean this off with isopropyl alcohol, peel off the 3M VHB backing, and then we're gonna go ahead and install it. It's simple as that. Okay, so we are gonna work on installing the front jam handle. And originally my plan was to uh, heat it up a little bit so it contours a little bit to the door itself. But I figured I might as well just move it up a little bit more to this flat portion here, and then we're in good shape. So I went ahead and wiped everything down with isopropyl. I'll do it one more time just for good measure. But the next step here is just pull off the backing on the VHB tape and go ahead and locate it. So I know basically anything in here will clear the door perfectly fine. Uh, so the next step here is just pull this backing off and get it slammed on the car. So let's do that. All right, we're gonna do one last test fit. But I believe... End up going right about there. That's completely flat. I just want to make sure it trim wise. And that'll be it. Let's go ahead and pull this off. This stuff is super tacky, so literally the second you put it on, you're basically found its forever home. So measure once. There. There we go. All right, so the jam handle is installed. So how does it work? Boom. All right, so I got my jam handles installed on all four doors. I absolutely love these things. Again, every so often something so simple comes out on the market and you get pissed off because you didn't think of it, like sliced bread, fire, internal combustion engines, and jam handles. Honestly, these things are a perfect solution to an issue that everyone knows we have. Like I said, you're either grabbing your door from here, up here, you're trying to grab it by the handle, you're trying to grab it from the inside, all in an order, all in an effort to not scratch your paint. And especially if you spend a lot of money on ceramic coating, you really don't want to test how durable it is if you don't have to. Um, so these jam, jam handles are a perfect solution to it. On the front door, I went with the three finger jam handles. There's not a lot of room inside this door jam, um, and the three finger is more than uh, enough area to grab and shut the door. So basically you just grab a door like that and shut it. Then on the rears, you got a four, so grab the door. 
and shut it. And that is it. I'll leave the description or a link to the parts down below in the description. But I appreciate you guys watching the video. Pretty quick one, simple. Honestly, it probably took you longer to watch this video than it would take you to install these. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it. Yeah.